guys welcome to my channel this is a cast video made a founder sim for a new legacy challenge i want to do and i'm going to try to do this as a let's play so i'm not sure how many videos i'll post of it per week probably just one or two i did want to do this video of cast i'm not great at cast but i figured it would be a way to kind of introduce myself this, this is the first voiceover that i'm doing and posting to the channel i am a little nervous about it but hopefully it'll go okay this sim is, her name is going to be Reagan Gray. She'll be my founder. Yeah, I don't, I'm sure everybody knows what the Legacy Challenge is, but if not, it was created by Pinstar way back when The Sims 2 was, was a thing. Well, it still is a thing. When it came out and it started this all aging up with The Sims process, um, he was able to create it. But you start out with your founder sim. You have rules that you have to go by and you try to get all these things completed and all these things accomplished and you try to make it all the way to Generation 10. When that 10th generation, that sim is born, then you've completed the challenge and then you're supposed to keep score of it. I've done several <laughs> legacy challenges before, but I've never gone farther than like, I think generation four was the highest I ever got. Um, I always get bored with it. Now that being said, I've never scored it. So I'm going to try to do that this time. Um, but I was trying to figure out what was the best and easiest way to keep score. So I was kind of researching that. And I had, as long as I played The Sims, had never heard of some of these like score sheets that people have made so the one that I chose that I'm going to use is Healy's Legacy Challenge score sheet. I'm going to link that down below. You guys should really check that out because it is really awesome. It is so detailed. It has everything. It's got the rules, it's got all the skills, careers, deaths, the collections, I mean everything that you're aiming to get done in this challenge. It's got it on there for you and it calculates it all for you. Seems like it would be the easiest possible way versus tracking on paper. I think paper would just be a lot to keep up with. I figure I'll probably just go ahead and tell you guys about the secession laws. Sorry, I cannot talk. That I chose to go with. I'm going to go with equality, which means I can have a male or female heir. I did the modern bloodline, which means any children that are born or adopted into the family can become the heir. Um, I'm not, for the species law, I'm going to stick with all humans. I do not like playing with a coal in like regular gameplay. I mean, they're great when you want to play with them, but just in like, I just hate, especially vampires. Hate them. Vlad. I hate Vlad. I hate when they come to your house and they try to suck your blood in the middle of the night and then you pass out. Like, it's just... It's really annoying, especially when Vlad glitches out and he won't leave. He won't suck your blood. He won't leave. He just stays there. It's really frustrating, especially if you want to play with like more, more like the normal everyday kind of try to make your Sims more like realistic gameplay. But anyway, and then I also want to do for like the air law. I have firstborn listed right now, but if some people get kind of interested and, and want to follow along in as we go through this let's play I would more than love to do the democracy air law which means that you can comment down below and let me know you know who you want to be the heir for the generation and if if we have a couple of people interested then we can do um, like a poll or something so we can decide who the heir is that way I'd absolutely love that. On this spreadsheet that was made, you can customize kind of what you want in the, as like the rules, the skills, the deaths, and all that. And I really thought about taking the vampire pack stuff out of it, but I figure, leave it in there. It's going to get me out of my comfort zone, and that's kind of what this YouTube channel is all about anyway. It's something I've wanted to do for a really long time. I absolutely love The Sims. I mean... I played The Sims since The Sims 1. Really my favorite game. My favorite series. I mean, here this is. Here this channel is. Hopefully, I mean, it's just for fun. I don't really have too many expectations from it, but just kind of want to have fun. It's something I've always wanted to do is make videos for it. I'm so interested in getting to connect and, and communicate with people who have the same interests as me and have a passion for The Sims. If you're interested in following this Let's Play, definitely hit the subscribe button. Like I said, I kind of want it to be interactive, so if I can get interested in like helping pick who the heir is going to be, it would be awesome. Um, any suggestions, anything like, just comment them down below. Look forward to, to hearing if you guys have any thoughts or not. Thanks for watching this video.